You're watching Night After Night on Donut Friday. We have audience of one from Los Angeles, Chris Kalanicki. We also have Dr. Ruth Westheimer. Coming up next, actress Virginia Madsen. Do I know you? No. No. But you doubted me. I'm sorry. I have to go. No need to leave yet. When I'm late. This new year. Welcome back to Night After Night. My first guest tonight is one of the hottest actresses working today. You can see her in films like Myth Mr. North, <laughs> The Hot Spot, or new film Candyman opens today. Virginia Manson is her name, and she's eating a donut. Mm, it's Donut Friday. Huh? How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fine. So. Yeah? You need some help? I better stop eating now that I'm getting out of business here. Uh, you went to Madonna's party last night. Mm-hmm. Yes, I did. How was that? It was very tame. No, really? No. I, I know. I'm sorry, but um, no, was, that's okay. Just tell the now, truth. If Chris was there, might have, things might have been different. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Next time, baby. Yeah. You know, bad timing. Um, <laughs> Chris, you want to come over and do the interview? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. I mean, they had like all kinds of like simulated sex going on, but you know, nothing real. But that's the things. Anything simulated, it looks kind of stupid. Well, even that, even the simulated sex was sort of. Boring. I mean, there was no interesting positions going on, or although there were a lot of quite a few dildos, but you know. You mean there, there were? Are you saying there were agents at the party, or do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the actual dildo itself? <laughs> okay, I, I get a little confused there. there. Isn't sex anyway? I mean, if you know, seeing watching people make love, it, it's kind of goofy to watch. People. Well, it is. I mean, it's not all that exciting um, to watch. It's uh, you know, obviously more exciting to participate, but I wasn't about to start that free-for-all. No. Have you ever done a sex scene in a film? Um, no, I've done more. I mean, I've done love scenes, but I've never, I think once I had to do, like, simulated sex under the blankets, and, and it was kind of so stupid. <laughs> I, I think they cut it out because I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, I, I guess, have you ever faked an orgasm, or, I mean... Have I? I, I, re I haven't had to. Okay. No, I just like in a film, though. I mean, what do you... Do you, oh. do you, do you, you know what I mean? <laughs> I thought, I mean, Dr. Ruth is here and stuff, so I thought it was like, we're going to have a frank sex talk now. Well, no, I don't want to get um, into a lot of the sex stuff, but I mean, you know, when you have to do an orgasm in a film, do you think of how you sound? No, I haven't, you... I haven't had to do that in a film. I, I think okay. it would be just ridiculous. But yeah, I, I, I would wonder, like... Uh, I don't know. I could probably fake it pretty good, though, but um, if, for some reason, men always get more paranoid when they have to do a love scene or they have to do nudity. And it's a lot harder for women to, I mean, let's face it, we have a lot more to reveal. And it's not natural for us to take off our Well, I don't think it's natural for guys to take off their clothes either. I mean, oh, sure it is. I mean, really? guys walk around without their shirts on all the time. It's not a big deal. But for some reason, when they have to do that on a movie set, they become juveniles. I don't, I don't know why. But I think it's because you're mixing, you know, lovemaking and performing don't mix. Uh -huh. So they're, that's what they're trying to do, essentially, and they all get worried about their masculinity. And Do you like actors? Uh, no. No? <laughs> well, I think that's why I'm always so negative about them. As I opposed like actresses. to actresses? You actresses like I find much easier to work with. Maybe it's because we have to work harder. Um, but uh, I find, for the most part, actresses, we spend less time in the makeup trailer for some reason. Even really? We always have more makeup. Really? And, uh, and actors are a little more... Um, they're a little more temperamental, you know. They're working towards being a leading man, or their but their, women are their always egos are are more fragile or something. But women are always consumed with the way they look, and they're yeah, a, we actresses are, are that's basically why it's weird. nuts, I don't, aren't they? I don't get it. Actors are nuts? actresses oh, yeah. are basically nuts. Um, you know, a little bit. I'm not, you know, oh, it's not yeah, a, yeah, certainly. Or yeah. else, why would I be doing this? But um, <laughs> I would have to be a little screwy. But yeah, um, especially this movie, I would definitely be screwy to do. Do this you get movie. to go nuts in Candyman? Um, yes, I think that's one of the scariest things that happens to Helen. Um, to who? To Helen. Oh. My character. Um, there's a, um, at one point in the movie where she is convinced that this phantom, um, has been after her and wants her to join him in immortality and is, and, um, but I end up being accused of all these horrible, you know, awful murders and, um, and I'm convinced that he's real. And there's a scene in the movie where I realize that I'm the, on the only one who can see him. And so there's this moment where 
you're you're wondering, well, either how am I going to make them believe this, or have I really just lost my mind? And so it's a, it's a scary moment. Do you like time. Do you like scary movies? I'm a great fan of horror films. Yeah. You like to be scared. Love to be scared. Why not in real life, but yeah. safe. Okay. <laughs> that was not funny. I, um, that wasn't funny. I'm sorry. Here, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I, everything's going to be okay now. I'm so good. I can't believe I, I'm, I'm sitting right I, here. The lights are on and I everything. I fell for that, though. That's what's pathetic. You know when they do this thing where they go, hey, what's on there? Duh. I always fall for that every time. Really? I'm just naturally gullible. I, I would have done that first if I'd known. <laughs> no. Did um, you have boyfriends that scared you? Um... Not not in a relationship, but you know, <laughs> I was thinking, you yeah. come home at night and they're kind of uh, uh, practical jokes or something like that. Um, no, I'm sort of, I, 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 I try to avoid that um, in men. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I, I'm usually the one who's scaring other people. Yeah. Um, You're superstitious? I'm extremely superstitious, yes. Whereas my, I mean, Helen is absolutely the opposite of me in that way. I believe in ghosts and spooks and UFOs and all of that stuff. I read something where you had to look in a mirror to get the candy man to come out. Yes, you have to look in the mirror and say his name five times and he appears behind you, breathing down your neck. And do you do that in the film? I had to do it in the film, yeah, but I would not do it in real life, no. What do you mean you wouldn't do it in real life? Because I just thought, I didn't want to tempt the fates, you know? Do you really think if you look <laughs> in the mirror and say well, Candyman five times, the yeah, boogeyman's going to come? Well, I just, uh, why risk it, though? Well, uh, but, 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 uh, but you're an actress. Here, I got a mirror here. Oh, no, man, no. Come I have to do it in the movie. No! Oh. <laughs> it's a mirror. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it, okay? I warn you. Well, you, well, you warn me what? What's going to happen? Chris, uh, there's no, a kid I'm with what? green hair here. He's not going <laughs> to, you know, no one's going to scare me more than Chris, okay? But he's reminding me of Eddie okay, Munster, though. Okay, I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> Candyman, 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 Candyman. Uh, candy no, no, you're looking at me, though. I okay. saw your eyes do the shift. How can I? <laughs> if I have a chance of looking at myself or looking at you, what am I going to take? Huh? 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 Was that a good line? Huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a good line. Okay, I'll do it. I'll just look at this, and uh, I'd say it five times, and he's going to appear behind me. Well, it, it may happen a little bit later. Might not happen right. So we're gonna have a guest later on the show. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> so make sure the green room's ready, cause the candy man's gonna be here. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me, can I do it? Do you mind if I take no, part of you? Okay. Sure. All right, five times. Yeah. Candy man, candy man, candy man, candy man, candy man. Big deal. Come and get me. Okay. <laughs> You did it, I didn't. <laughs> I love it when you do that. Now, um, now, you, are you going back to Los Angeles? Um, yes. Yeah? You like it there? Uh, yeah, I like it a lot now. I hated it at first. Um, I'm from Chicago, and so when I first moved out there, I was a little lost. I mean, L.A. is kind of a city in search of a location. <laughs> and, uh, it's like, oh, thank you. And, uh, but it, it's, it is. It feels like that. Everything is all spread out, and, and it's hard to get together. You always have to have an itinerary, and it's like, well, how many cars tonight are we taking? And, uh, and in Chicago, or, you know, like in New York, you can walk down the street and meet at a cafe, or, you know, it's just... And if you leave Chicago and go anywhere, it's tough, because people in Chicago yeah. are really nice, and it's a friendly town. And it still feels like home. Yeah, but you never know. Listen, if the Candyman shows up at my place tonight, I'll send him to you, uh, L.A., <laughs> okay? You can send him over anytime. He's very handsome. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, then grab a mirror, ladies, and go for it. <laughs> Virginia uh, thank Madison, you. thank you very much. Uh, Candyman opens uh, today, and go see it, and that way it'll make a lot of money, and Virginia will work, and then she'll be able yeah, to do so talk I, shows, I and I'll work, job. and uh, <laughs> everything goes. Yeah, so uh, we'll be back after this with Dr. Ruth. Mm -hmm.